all the connections for installation of the equipment are on this end of the machine. There's three primary connections for water coming into the machine and leaving the machine during normal operation. There's two drains and there are four cleaning connections. The first one is the feed water coming in from your municipal supply coming right here for the drain connection. When you're running the system, this valve's got to be open. The permanent water will come out right here. Three inch flange connection. This will go to your permanent storage tank for eventually feeding into EDI. The concentrate will come out right here. And this will go to drain. It's not used further. This is a two inch flange connection. Permanent three inch flange connection. These valves should be open whenever you're running the RO. And that's a normal flow of right? Yeah. When you're cleaning the membranes for the RO system, these valves should all be closed. Then you will be only dealing with the connections to and from the cleaning station. If you're going to clean the first array to these four tubes right here, you will be feeding the cleaning solution in through this pipe right here, three inch flange connection, and the return will be from this pipe back to the cleaning tank. Both the three inch connections. In that case, whenever you clean these membranes, whether it's a first row or a second row, this valve right here, checklist, must be closed. Whenever you're running the RO, this valve must be open. This valve isolates the first array and the second array. So if you're going to clean the first array, you're going to close this valve, you're going to open this valve, you're going to open this valve, you're going to feed the cleaning solution in here and you can recycle it from here back to the cleaning tank. Now, in the event that the system makes some permit during the cleaning, you'll also return the permit line back to the cleaning tank. That will come from this valve right here. And this valve will be open. This is another three inch flange connection back to the cleaning tank. So, anytime you're cleaning, you're going to have three connections. In, in this case for the first array in here, and two return lines. Concentrate back to the tank, permeate back to the tank. If you clean the second array, similar concept. This valve must be closed. Now what you're going to do is feed the cleaning solution in here for this for these three tubes in here and concentrate from these three coming back out here. Okay? So in here, out here, back to the tank. And of course, also you will have permit return. The same permit return pipe is used to return the permit whether you clean array two or array one. It's the same pipe. Then in addition to the clean connections and the feed and permit concentrate connections, you have two drain lines. One is this connection right here which is to drain the chemical tanks. There are two valves behind the tanks here, half inch ball valves. You want to drain either tank or the other, you open that valve and you can drain the solution out. The other drain is to drain the cartridge filter. You'll notice over here, there's a drain valve on the front of the cartridge filter. If you want to change these cartridges out, you want to empty the water out first, open that drain line and the pipe exits You can drain the water out of the filter housing, which will make changing the cartridges much easier. Go. Okay. This is a reverse osmosis skip. Designed to make about 220, 230 gallons per minute of RO permit. This will be fed into the EDI system. Before you start the RO system, if there are certain things you should check to make sure that everything's ready before you start. Uh, first of all, Make sure your inlet valve is open. Permeate outlet valve is open. Concentrate outlet valve is open. All your cleaning valves are closed. The valve between array 1 and array 2 for cleaning is open. Your pump throttle valve open to about 50%. Concentrate valve open about 50%. Your 
permeant back pressure valve, back, permeant back pressure valve, and back is 100% open. Drain valve on the cartridge filter, closed. Two drain valves in the back of the chemical tanks, closed. That's all your valve position. Then, we start with the chemical dosing system. Sodium metabisulfite chemical for dechlorination. Make sure you have adequate chemical volume in the tank. There is a low level switch in the back at about the 10 gallon level. If you've got less than 10 gallons in here, probably won't even run. Make sure you've got chemical in the tank. Make sure you've got the two knobs on the dosing pump set around 75, 80% level on both stroke and speed. Make the scale chemical to prevent mineral scale on the membrane surface. Same deal. Make sure you've got at least 10 gallons of chemical in the tank, preferably full. Make sure you've got both knobs, stroke and speed, at about 75-80%. That's based on our recommended chemical concentration of about 10%, about 15% Dilution for the anti-scalant and using 50% concentration of sodium metabisulfite powder mixed in with permeant. If you follow our recommended mix instructions, set these two knobs at 75 to 80% and you'll be okay. Make sure you've got cartridges in the cartridge filter. This holds 25 cartridges of 29 and 1 quarter inches long. 5 micron is recommended. Here you've got your Isolation these valves are here for isolation. If you're changing the cartridges, you close that valve. But under normal operation, that valve must be open. Make sure you've got your ORP sensor installed. Right now it's not installed here, but just make sure that's installed. You've got all that set up. You should be ready to run.